what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so with the rock's latest return to monday night raw and him pretty much alluding that he wants to have a match with roman reigns since he said you know maybe he wants to sit at the head of the table you only say that for one reason and that's to have a match with roman reigns since that has been kind of you know put out there by the rock himself on wwe television and even roman reigns responded with a laughing emoji on twitter not taking it seriously at all as anyone would expect roman to uh, kind of uh, respond to that situation the question has become where does this match take place it's been a lot of discussion on social media just within the first few hours of the rock saying what he said on monday night raw twitter's been going crazy social media has been going crazy on youtube instagram the question has been just circulating where does this match happen does the rock and roman happen at elimination chamber this year or does that match happen at wrestlemania 40 now me personally if i had to choose and if i'm booking the shows i'm going with the rock versus roman reigns at the elimination chamber one the elimination chamber is going to be in australia they're going to be in a stadium venue a stadium is going to be a stadium event i believe it holds up to sixty-five thousand people it's a big stadium so it's going to give that wrestlemania feel regardless there have been rumors and reports that the australian government wants the rock there so i can see them throwing big dollars to have him there at the event now granted you don't have to have him wrestle but i feel like if you're gonna have the rock there you might as well have him wrestle and it would be a very good main event it would be a very good um uh, an exciting well i don't know if it'll be a very good match because we don't know how you know in shape the rock is when it comes to the ring abilities so i'm not going to sit up here and say it'll be a very good match but i do think you know it could it it should be one let's put that out there and i do think the feud itself would be you know pretty uh pretty intense considering they've they've had their little jabs over the years nothing too crazy but just you know you know that obviously roman feels like he's the head of the table and you know the rock believes that he's the head of the table so it's one of those things where the feud itself kind of it, it kind of sells itself just off the hype this this would be a first time ever but i would just go with that being the outcome them having the match in uh at elimination chamber having uh cody rhodes find a way to get himself into the elimination chamber match himself and win it and then go ahead having roman versus cody happen at wrestlemania for night two now i want to give reasons why because i don't want to just put it out there like oh it should happen at this at this particular moment so cody can finish his story me personally i think it creates a better story going into wrestlemania because you want the story to be different if you're gonna do a, a rematch with cody and roman it has to be a different dynamic it can't be the same thing that we just had last year cody trying to finish the story it has to be more than that and this side this time you can do more in a sense of if you have this match happen at the elimination chamber and you have the rock lose which most people would think that was that was going to be the outcome you have the rock lose and you have roman cheat per usual with jimmy and solo at his side and it can be a situation where Roman already feels like he's untouchable. He beats The Rock. Now he's truly, he's truly on another level now in his eyes. And it's going to cost him. Because at that point, he's going to start to feel as if he doesn't need anybody. That includes Solo, that includes Jimmy, and that includes Paul Heyman. And I do feel like it's going to get to a point where one by one, these individuals are going to leave Roman because he's going to start to be disrespectful. Mind you, he would be beating one of the greatest of all time that happens to be in his family. And that's always been the one thing that people put over him is, well, The Rock is better than you. You know, The Rock is on a whole nother level. 
and this would be something he'd be able to knock down you know or check off his list and he would have literally done it all so at that point he would have beaten everybody there is to beat so when you get to that point now it doesn't matter like i'm i'm untouchable and he's gonna start to disrespect the people that have quote unquote made him untouchable he's gonna disrespect the people that have helped him retain that title that championship and i think that would be a more interesting story to go into wrestlemania and then of course he's gonna disrespect cody even more he's like bro i beat the rock you can't tell me nothing i've already beaten you and cody can try to expound on that you only beat me because of your family you didn't beat me because you could on your own and that's when he can start being disrespectful i don't need none of them i'm way above everybody in my family and that's going to be his downfall his ego his 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 desire his desire to let people know that he's better than everybody else even the people that has helped him that is to me a better story to tell going into wrestlemania rather than if it's just a rock and roman going into wrestlemania we know the outcome we for sure know that the rock is not losing we know how this ends if that happens going into wrestlemania we know how this ends and then we know that roman most likely won't be losing that title until he breaks hulk hogan's record and that in my opinion is not the route to go because once again you put smackdown in a, another compromising situation for a whole another year where if they don't have a top champion majority of the year he would have already beaten everybody there's no one else for him to beat so that's why the reign would need to end at wrestlemania 40 because who else is there to beat who else nobody you got the rock versus roman there's nobody else for him to beat Unless, and it's not, I don't I don't think the fans can wait that long even more for Cody to potentially finish his story. At that point, no one's going to care. So I say Elimination Chamber, if I had to choose, that way you can build up story with Roman's character going into WrestleMania. And, and once again, Cody will be the ultimate underdog because he has to really fight deep down to beat Roman but also in a sense he's gonna have to use some mind games to separate roman from the rest of his family and roman will probably do most of the heavy lifting there because his ego is gonna get into the way so that's my personal pick if i had a chance to book it i would have roman versus the rock at elimination chamber have them have a great match roman cheats to win per usual It'll be, you know, one of those things that boosts his ego to a whole nother stratosphere. Have Cody win the Elimination Chamber and build up from there. Finding a way, Cody finding a way to get within the bloodline to get them to realize he does not care about them. And once they start to realize he doesn't care about them, it gets to a situation where the last person that will have his back is Paul Heyman. And on that night, on the main event of WrestleMania, night two, WrestleMania 40, it could be a situation where maybe Roman Reigns needs Paul Heyman to cheat for him or whatnot. And maybe he does something that Roman Reigns doesn't like and Roman Reigns gets pissed. Oh, Roman Reigns gets mad at Paul Heyman and he pushes him. He shoves him. He puts his hands on him. And it gets to the point where Paul Heyman was like, you know what? I don't need this anymore. I'm done with this. Screw you. And he walks away. And then, and only then, when there's no one left, no Solo, no Jimmy, no Wiseman, then Cody has the opportunity to take him down. And we call it a day. And we move on from there. And Cody beats Roman Reigns when he has no one left. That's how I would do it if I had an opportunity. I just think that's the better story going into the WrestleMania season. Because Rock and, and, and Roman's going to automatically sell no matter what. I think you definitely enhance um, the, the ticket sales in Australia. You definitely sell out that venue with them if you advertise it as the main event. And it's just, you know, it's we know the Rock and the Roman is going to be a one-off match. But at least... 
if it's gonna be a one-off match let it build up to something better for the long term instead of it being a one-off match at wrestlemania and then that's it and now we stuck with roman as a champion again for another year just so he can break hulk hogan's record no make you can have the one-off matches just make sure it leads to something better for the people that are going to be there week in and week out that's all i'm saying so comment down below let me know how would you guys set it up would you have the rock versus roman main event wrestlemania 40 or would you have the rock versus roman main event elimination chamber in australia and then have cody and roman main event wrestlemania 40 let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still on the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all keeping with me see y'all next one peace